Oh boy, oh boy, here we go. Man, uh, we're going to talk about him's album called Dark Light. Their most commercially successful record that they've ever put out. And there's plenty of reasons why. And we're going to talk about them here on this one. It was recorded 2005, released 2005. Pretty much the band just got right into it. Um, didn't even skimp on recording. They, they kind of just were going at it. And, uh, you know, it really shows here. It definitely really shows on um, here on Sire Records. You know, I, I believe they, they had a record label called Hardogram Label or something like that. But they, they just went with Sire. Uh, Tim Palmer released it. Tim Palmer's just, uh, he's a really good producer. And um, they recorded it in, in L.A. And boy, oh boy, do we have a lot of good ones here. So a lot of people say that, you know, this is kind of like a mix between, you know, I don't know, kind of like Razor Blade and Deep Shadows. Me, you know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know about, about that one. Or, you know, uh, Love Metal and, and Deep Shadow. A lot of people say, you know, it's kind of two albums mixed together. I don't think so. I, I think this one is kind of like Love Metal, just a little bit beefed up. Um, it's very keyboard heavy. Uh, keyboards really take over. But there there's some guitar moments like, um, you know, Wings of a Butterfly, definitely. Um... I don't know. I, I like the distortion on Drunk on Shadows. Um, but gosh, really, even The Cage is good, too. Uh, it's kind of like a bonus song. I'm going to kind of add it in here because The Cage is really a, a really good song just on its own. Um, Poison Heart's really good, too, if you haven't listened to that one. Overall, just great songs, really, really. Every song is good, even the bonus songs. Um, but yeah, uh, lineup changes... There are none. We're still here with the same old people, and they are just killing it. But uh, this is where him kind of just gets huge. They they put out Wings of a Butterfly. They put out uh, Killing Loneliness as, as singles. And boy, are those two videos awesome. I remember watching those as a kid on TRL, you know, on Headbangers Ball. The, the, these, they were just really good. And every song on here is good. They're They're catchy. Vampire Heart, what a great opener, coming in a little less than five minutes. Wings of a Butterfly, just a great, great guitar-heavy song. Under the Rose, just overall really good with keyboards. Killing Loneliness is just good uh, vocally. Um, and just, just great songwriting on this one. It, it's just really, really well handled. Uh, Dark Light's good. A lot of people say that the, the second half isn't as strong as the first half. I don't know about that. I, I think the whole album is good. There's not really a bad song on this album. There seriously isn't. Drunk on Shadows? Come on now. Come on. Um, Play Dead? It's it's just so good. It's so good. The Night Side of Eden? I mean, goodness gracious, guys. There's not a bad song on here. And I just can't say anything negative about it. I just can't. It's a great album, and it's going to get a 10 out of 10 for me. I'm sorry. It's a masterpiece. You know, I know a lot of people are going to disagree on me with this. You know, they kind of say it's a little watered down or, you know, it's just, it's just the same songs over and over, just different hooks and stuff like that. It's really not. It's really not. It's at the 45 minute mark. It's short. It's fast. It's to the point, And it's just good. The album art, the album cover, it's just so good. It's him on, on the building with the, the water surrounding it with like a little, kind of like a storm clouds going on. It's just really cool. You know, um, this is this album is really dark, super dark, but kind of poppy at the same time. It's, it's the perfect him that you're going to want. And it's a 10 out of 10. They're just on fire. They are on fire right now. Him is just killing it. They're killing it. And it's just... They're they're doing well. They really are. So can't really say much else about it. And uh, you know we're just gonna leave it there. And uh, yeah, ten out of ten. Dark light. Him. Not much else I can say. Thank you guys for watching. We're gonna move on. And uh, yeah, we got a lot going on. I'm not gonna do the uneasy listening because it's not really like a, a studio record. It's kind of just the same songs, just kind of different. Um, like acoustic version or like remixes. So we're, we're not really going to go go to that. We're going to go to Venus Doom. Venus Doom is uh, the next record we're going to go to here. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next review. So peace out.